So we have negative 30x to the fifth is equal to negative 10x to the third times f. And I encourage you to pause this video and see if you can figure out what f is going to be. Well, the way that we can tackle it, we could just isolate the f on the right hand side here if we divide by negative 10x to the third. So we might say, well, we want to divide this side by negative 10x to the third. But if we want the equality to be true, if we want the left side to stay being the same as the right side, we have to do, we have to, whatever we do to the right side, we have to do to the left side as well. So we have to divide the left side by negative 10x to the third. And then what, is this, what does that leave us with? Well, on the right hand side, up top we're multiplying by negative 10x to the third, and then we're dividing by negative 10x to the third. Well, multiplying by something and then dividing by that same thing is the same thing as just multiplying by one, or you could one way to think about it, they just cancel out. So we are just going to be left with an f. We're going to be left with an f on the right hand side. And there's a whole point. We wanted to solve for f. And on the left hand side, we see we can first look at the coefficients. We could say negative 30 divided by negative 30 divided by negative 10 is positive 3. So that's going to be 3. And then x to the x to the fifth power divided by x to the third power. Well that's 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 going to be x squared. x squared. You could either think of it in terms of our exponent properties. We would subtract these two exponents, x to the 5 minus 3, which is x squared. Or you could say, hey, up on top, that's x times x times x times x times x. Did I say that right? 5x's. You could view it as x. Let me do it in that. On top, you have x to the fifth, which is this. I always like to remind myself why the exponent properties even work. And then on the denominator, on the denominator, you have x times x times x. And these three x's are going to cancel, and you're just going to be left with x times x, which is just x squared. So you get f is equal to 3x squared. So you could write, we could write that negative 30 x to the fifth is equal to, is equal to negative 10 x to the third times f. And now we know that f is 3x squared. 3 x squared. And so another way to describe what's going on in this equation, we could say that negative 30 x to the fifth is divisible by either one of these factors. That negative 30 x to the fifth is divisible by negative 10 x to the third. Or we could say negative 30 x to the fifth is divisible by 3 x squared. Or we could say that 3 x squared is a factor of negative 30 x to the fifth. And the way that we can make these claims about factor and divisibility is we're dealing with we're dealing with non-fractional coefficients right over here, and we're also dealing with non-fractional exponents right over here. So that's why we're saying, hey, these are factors, this, this yellow thing and this magenta thing, factors of this blue thing or this blue thing is divisible by either one of these.